I'm also going to sit down and talk about trolls and how I feel about them and my take on them at this point in life because it's been quite a ride and I'm kind of in my trolls will always be trolls face. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that. 11 minutes later. Ladies and gentlemen of the fitness community, we are gathered here today, ashes to ashes, Dust to dust. Brittany Dawn Fitness issuing full refunds. Is a must, girl. Is there anyone who has anything they would like to say? I would like to pay my respects. Come up here, ma'am. Brittany Dawn was a good woman. But she was a liar! Hello, welcome back to my channel. I said in my previous video that there would probably be a part four and here we are. Not only did Britney put her foot in her mouth on her channel yet again, but another article about Britney was published right after I finished part three. This article said that the Texas Attorney General has received complaints and might take action against her, so I'm going to talk about that first. At the end of my first video, I spoke loosely about the class action lawsuit that was forming in the Brittany Dawn Fitness Complaints Facebook group. Nothing was official at the time and was still in the works, however, this article confirmed that she is in deep legal trouble. Also, not only is that class action lawsuit still going on, but now the Texas Attorney General received so many complaints that they are possibly taking legal action against her as well, so I hope Brittany enjoys her time in Hawaii because if these lawsuits are successful and if they do happen she could be facing serious jail time but either way she will be owing a lot of money and won't be going on vacation to places such as Hawaii anytime in the near future. Anyway in part one I shared information about the class action lawsuit so I'm going to publish this information again in this video. If you are a victim of hers and would like to participate in this lawsuit or you know someone that was a victim of hers just press pause on the next slide to read it and see how you can participate in it. Although I feel that this is obvious, I still wanted to put it out there that this lawsuit is not about the money and you getting it back. It's about not putting up with behavior like this from influencers who are supposed to be setting good examples and holding them accountable whenever they take advantage of their fans. I think reality is starting to set in for Britney, although it hasn't completely dawned on her yet that this is her own doing. Uploading a scathing video calling everyone trolls yet again is not going to make this go away, but giving out refunds and issuing sincere your apologies, however, will. Last night, Brittany uploaded an 11 minute long video called Calling Out the Hate. In this video, it started out like a typical car vlog video from Brittany where she quote unquote runs errands. I thought this was a clickbait title at first, but then she started talking all about the crappy trolls again, so I watched it. Just like my previous video, I will be responding to parts of Brittany's video and giving my opinion. I didn't think I'd be doing a part 4 so soon, but here we are, gotta roll with it as Brittany says. As you can tell by the likes to dislikes ratio, and the video grading, which has a 29% upvote rating, people were not having it. She received even more backlash for it, and here are some of the comments people left on her YouTube video. This first comment reads, Girl, bye. You know exactly why people are coming for you. This next comment says, Hate and truth are very different things. People being real with you about your issues aren't trolls. This next comment reads, an actual business owner doesn't joke around about the harm they've done and the money they've stolen. This next comment reads, first off, people confronting you about false advertising aren't trolls. Second, I'd love for some body language expert to dissect this video. Something in her eyes when she said, quote, I have great customer service team, end quote, seemed like she was lying. Another commenter wrote, Stop calling yourself an influencer, quote, Doing everything in your power, end quote, Isn't promising refunds, but only if they sign an NDA or going back on your promise for full refunds and making it 25 or 50% of the original price that you made your scam fitness plans. Learning from your mistake is not flexing your cash that was originally stolen from hardworking people. This has nothing to do with you being a woman. This has to do with your half-assed apologies and actions. This next comment reads, This content was really unnecessary. That being said, as a human, I made a mistake by watching this video. I'll be pivoting to a fitness influencer channel with actual fitness content. 
and his latest comment says you need to give people their money back. And now onto the video itself, but first I wanted to bring this up before I respond to her video. You might hear silly sound effects and movie clips. I wanted to say that I did not put those in this video, Britney did that. I guess that's her way of saying that this is all a joke to her. I did however add the clown music in though. Anyway. Alright, so I have like 7% battery left. As you guys know, here's how it went down. You guys, I'm just gonna cut to the chase because I am limited on battery life right now. Um, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I've taken full responsibility for it. I made things right and I did whatever it took to make things right. As a business owner, as an influencer, I have learned from it um, and I'm a prime example of what can happen when you have a platform and you mess up. And I understand that that comes with the territory. I have done everything that I can in my power to fix it, to um, apologize, etc etc that being said I'm very very happy um, to say that I have an incredible customer service team and we have addressed every single issue that has come forward um no making a mistake is doing something and then correcting it so that it doesn't happen again what you did Brittany was deliberate and you're not working on correcting these issues at all you didn't make things right because people are still either not getting the full refunds that you owe them or the ones that did actually get refunds are having them retracted by you which is also illegal might I add. So miss me with this BS story about how you've done everything in your power to fix all these issues. As an influencer, I stepped back. I took a social media break for a few weeks to focus on correcting the things that needed to be fixed at that time. That being said, you guys have probably noticed the ungodly amount of hate and negativity and just mean, disgusting comments that I am getting on my YouTube videos on my Instagram post and pretty much everywhere, Twitter too. On an Instagram story a few weeks ago, I stated that I was no longer deleting comments, that I was no longer blocking people, um, and I'm gonna stay true to my word on that. That being said, there are pretty sickening things being said about me um, on posts, on YouTube videos, whatever the case may be, and I'm not here to play victim. That comes with being an influencer, I get that. Is it hard for me to see those comments about myself? Yeah, you know, I would be lying if I said that it wasn't hard to read some of those things. We're all human, we all feel things. A few weeks ago, I was really letting those comments get to me. Uh, like, really, it was really hitting me hard, it was weighing heavy on my heart, but I am in a phase now where trolls will be trolls. And unhappy customers will be unhappy customers that you don't get to label as trolls just because they call you out on your crap. Also, an ungodly amount of nasty comments? You mean like the comments that I just read a few minutes ago, as well as in previous videos? If you think those comments are hate comments, then Brittany, I've got a bridge to sell you. Those are not hate comments, those are comments from people you stole money from that are upset that you were going on lavish vacations to places such as Hawaii with the money that you stole from them. And when I stepped back to look at the situation for what it was, um, I noticed a few things and it's just crazy to me. 99% uh, of the people that are saying these things online have one, never been a client of mine. Two, they have never been directly impacted by the situation itself. Or three, they don't even know what's really happening. They don't know the whole story. They're just jumping on this bandwagon on um, with this mob mentality that we are all in this together to try to drag Britney down. There are so many false accusations. There are so many things being said at this point that I don't even know where they came from, to be honest. It's, it's quite amusing to me um, because obviously, like, I know the full story and you just kind of have to laugh at it at some point. <laughs> so many people have told me this and I cannot believe it to be more true than now. That if you are the kind of person that's going to go out of your way to leave a negative, hateful, spiteful, disgusting comment on someone else's post, mine or anyone else. It says a lot more about you as a person than it does the person that you're commenting towards. And that is just life in general. You know, we must not be reading the same comments because 99% of the comments that I've been reading come from either customers you scammed or people who are defending them. And they do know the story because either they've been following this scandal intently or they were scammed by you. So yeah, of course they know exactly what happened and what's been going on. You saying that we're all jumping on a bandwagon with the mob mentality is just you trying to gaslight and get sympathy from everyone. So much for you saying that you're not going to play the victim in this video because so far that's all I've heard from you. Nobody is trying to drag you down, Brittany. We are holding you accountable. There's a difference. 
I've said it already, but you guys, like, I'm here to say it again. I messed up. I made a mistake. I am human. But I took the steps needed as a business owner and as an influencer to fix said mistake. And I'm fixing it so that I can move forward with my life. And oh, Brittany, you haven't done anything to fix the situation except for go on vacation and feel sorry for yourself. The male YouTuber whose name will be left unmentioned simply because uh, it's clear as day that he's riding this wave and he's trying to ride my coattail for subscribers or 10 seconds of fame or to get more attention online. You need a new hobby. You really do. Like, dude, it's over. Get a new hobby, maybe a girlfriend. Actually, no, no, you probably shouldn't do that. Um, yeah, get a new hobby and get someone else to talk about. Your videos at this point have far surpassed the, this is getting really old face. You need something new. And to the unacceptable amount of males that have taken the initiative to take direct jabs at me, whether it's through DMs or messages, even emails, like who does that? I really hope that one, that made you feel like more of a man. And two, I really hope that you don't have a woman in your life because men like you that are gonna talk to any female of any situation in that way, you do not deserve <laughs> A female of any kind. It is extremely disheartening as a female to see some of the things that men have said towards me and about me online to me directly, whatever the case might have been. Yeah, I could really go on a tangent about that, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, men like you, you don't deserve a female of any kind in your life. That is pretty ugly to wish bad things on someone just because they're calling out your bad behavior. And in case you don't know who she's talking about, she's referring to the YouTuber Swole Enormous, and I will leave a link to a few of his videos down below. And he's had a bunch of subscribers before even commenting on the Britney Dawn scandal, so I don't know where she's getting off with this whole clout chasing accusation. I guess she's saying that because it's her way of discrediting him to what little fans that she has left. Um, I do this for you guys. I genuinely love pouring my heart and soul into the camera, into YouTube, into creating content, into uplifting and lifting up other women. And I will continue to do that. This video and your actions so far, Brittany, are the exact opposite of uplifting. All you're doing is insulting, degrading, and discrediting people just because they're calling you out. That's not lifting up or empowering. If you truly wanted to uplift and empower people, issue them full refunds and don't do this ever again. Another thing that I've kind of felt relatively inspired to talk about um, is the toxic life of being a social media influencer. The highs, the lows, the pros, the cons, the things that come with it that a lot of you guys probably don't see. Because I will say this, there is a lot more that goes into it than what we put out on the internet. Um, and any influencer can attest to that. There's a lot of negative things and then there's a lot of positive, like the incredible people you get to impact. So I think I really wanna sit and talk about that. Um, I have a lot that I could say, especially after the past month. If you guys would like to see a video over that, then give this a thumbs up and I will get to work on that for you. Toxic side of being an influencer only exists because you're toxic, Brittany. There's so many influencers out there that are legit and you give them a bad name just by the things that you do and how you act and how you treat people. So all this quote unquote toxicity from the past month or so, as you put it, is all you're doing. Along with that, um, yeah, just, you know, I felt like I really wanted to address this, talk about the hate and the negativity and it's honestly getting kind of ridiculous uh i'm done being pushed around you know i'm not going to delete comments but at the end of the day uh those comments kind of reflect on the person making said comment instead of me in person um yeah, that's funny because your victims are done being pushed around by you too in videos such as this anyway that is it for this video i'm sure part five is on the horizon in the near future and i will of course keep you updated on everything pertaining to this scandal so as always let me know what you think about all this down below and thank you for watching